good morning. Might be good afternoon. It might even be good evening when you're listening to this. Or watching. Or watching. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, yeah. Hello. Um, we've taken the brave decision to start videoing our pod chats so that we can set up a little YouTube channel because some people said they'd like to watch us do it. Um, no idea why that would be. But we, we, anyway, we've had, had to get dressed properly and everything. Yeah, we we're normally normal. sitting in our jammies with no makeup on, but from today <laughs> it's recorded and we have to bow to our public and our audience. We do, we, we, yeah, yeah, we, we try to um, fulfil our customers' desires. So today we want to talk about something that we call, I think it's just us that call it this, magpie syndrome. Don't think I've heard anybody else say it, but, no, but it is special for you. I've had that. I think, <laughs> I think, I think that's, that's yours. That's a Claire Frogatism. Okay. Magpie yeah. syndrome. So, Claire, tell us what is magpie syndrome? <laughs> Look at the excitement. I, I think uh, this is something I'm very much guilty of, I think. Um, yeah. <laughs> I like new things. I like to start a project or start a meeting or start a conversation. And Claire describes me, this Claire, describes me as a puppy. So yes, I I call it magpie syndrome. Oh, it's a new thing, it's a shiny thing. But it's, it's like a new person. Or a new person, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, I just get really excited about getting stuck into a project or coming up with ideas or learning about that person or learning about that business and I think as well and tagging they said that dogs are like their owners and being a Springer Spaniel owner I think that's she definitely does fit your perfect life. Definitely she fits. is currently sitting under the table Sorry. and she has been very uh, vocal this morning yeah. hasn't she? Iris so. may say hello. Yeah. So yeah I think for me that my price and drugs I'm like oh shiny oh new toy new gadget oh new social media platform oh new thing but yeah. what do you find that that does to you does it, it distraction is just beyond isn't it sometimes because do you suffer from it though um, <laughs> <laughs> she was trying to be all sensible then and ask you proper questions do you just, suffer just from turn it? it away from me no 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 maybe it's not all about you it's a conversation about what other is it not it normally is <laughs> Not yeah, today. to be honest, I I am terrible. Um, kind of links with my procrastination, I think, as well, because actually I'd see something else shiny and new coming along and think, oh yeah, I'll get involved in that. I'll get involved in that, and I'll get involved in that, and then it puts you off. And and me, I can get very easily distracted. So I think I picked it up from you. I've been spending far too long with you. Is it? Oh, so I do apologise. Yeah. yeah sorry. Sorry, not sorry. No. <laughs> so. Do I suffer from it? I don't think you do, because you're the one that usually reins me in when I just say, oh Claire, I'm going to do this and I'm going to go on this course and I'm going to do, I've seen this and this would be good and go down about 50 million business tangents and you kind of ground me. If you think like a balloon and a weight. I've just twigged. You ground me, I think, we're thankfully. The same, we're the same bloody star sign. We're not, are we? No, you're just on the cusp, aren't you? You are a Sagittarius, aren't you? No, I'm Capricorn. Oh, but you're on the cusp though, aren't I've you? I've got like about ten mm, percent okay. of Sagittarius. Yeah. And it's usually when I go shopping and go, oh, well, I'm gonna treat myself, and then get home and Capricorn goes, oh, what you spent that much money on that for? That was silly. Yeah, it? but it's the Sagittarian in you that's seen the nice shiny new thing, isn't it? Oh, it's a Sagittarian magpie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm getting somewhere. But no, I I don't think you suffer from it. See, I I I think I do, but I do it internally. Yeah, there's a lot that you do in so, the So I think I see something new or meet somebody new and get all excited internally and then rein myself in yeah. and take action in a considered way. But I do get that yeah. excitement. Yeah. But I think it's internal and I and I'm I shouldn't be showing it for some reason. I, I, think... I, I pull back from <laughs> You are, we Measured. had this conversation Measured, earlier I think. that I think you are the leveller of the three of us. Um, mm -hmm. And we just, there's, there's a kind of scale, isn't there, between us. So Claire, you're the, the puppy dog magpie. I'm the, possibly the mummy magpie. And then there's the sensible one over here at the other end of the scale. I'm not going to say what you are, but you're not quite What, what, what the you magpie. kind of magpie would you be? When I think you were... Um, Alice in Wonderland things, or you're more 
more personal interests and things, I think you visibly show your magpie. But then again, I, I think you control it. You don't like run away with you. You don't let it distract you. Mm. I think I when it certainly when it comes to business, I think I try and do it, hold it back, and then think strategically how to do something. Mm -hmm. So I might meet somebody new that I think would be a fantastic contact, mm -hmm. and my immediate response would be right. I want to message them. I want to, and I stop myself and I think about what they'd think if I message them and how I should approach it and longer term, what do I want from it? So if I went overboard now, would that damage long term? Yes. Yeah, By which time you've gone flying in. Yeah, I've, I've, I've jumped <laughs> off the deep end straight in, found them out of depth. And I'm dabbling and cram, in the water. I get cramped on the way back and find out I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to tread water for a bit here because I've just dived in. But I'm getting better. I'm Thankfully, I, I think I'm, Spending time with Claire, I think I'm learning, starting yeah. to learn. I'm making everybody boring. <laughs> no, it's not you think, that's the point. You think you're boring. I'm you not, think you're absolutely far from it. You're, you're also, weird, like loads of people I've spoken to, are like that, oh, I, I don't know what to do in this situation, or I don't want to know if this has happened, or this is happening, or whatever. And I'm like, I am so lucky. I think we had this conversation last week. I've got a Claire to ring. Yeah. yeah. Or a message, but I think last week I said to her, "Who do you go to?" We yeah, did say that last week actually. because, or you I, did. I, I dare say, I dare say, I dare say, you're the same, Joe, as well. Yeah. You've got a Claire to go to as well, but who does she go to? And, it, and because you are, you are really good in so many different situations, whether it be personal, business, emotional, absolutely anything. I mean, is it a bad thing then, magpie syndrome? I think if you can manage it, so I know I have it. It's like I'm in an addiction, isn't it? It's like with Facebook. I found, oh, I found yeah. out, I took Facebook off my phone. Or yeah. You did that last month, probably, didn't you? Did you, you did, did, didn't you? Yeah, because yeah. I said, yeah. right, instead of talking about it, I'm right, I'm a dog. Yeah. Yeah. You did it's it. off my yeah. phone. And um, after 10 days, I thought, right, I think I've kind of learnt my lesson or I've broken the habit and when I put it back on my phone I've put it on screen four right. so I'll, I have to really if I'm on Facebook I have to really work at it and that's only three swipes but it's <laughs> left or right swipe left <laughs> which, which, apps, which apps have you been on <laughs> we're not talking <laughs> Tinder Joanne that's, <laughs> that's a different episode <laughs> But, yes, I, I think no, I haven't actually. I just I know that. Right. No. Oh no, I tell a lie. I have once, a good few years ago, when it first came out. Interesting. Don't. Again, my passenger. Oh, it's new. I'll try it. it yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I think because I know I have it, I'm not saying this happens all the time, but I do try and go. There's my list of jobs, personal, business, everything. Mm. Do the ones that I've got to do first. <laughs> your shiny ones there in the corner going. Me. You've got a devil on your that shoulder. Is, yeah, I, I remember having a conversation with you three or four weeks ago okay. where we had a conversation of Claire, have you actually got client work to do? Because if you have, you need to do this before whatever it was that the shiny object was at that point. Think, yeah, it was something like that. I forget yeah. what it was because I've I can't, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's been many more shiny objects since. I think I will always have shiny objects, but thankfully I've got a Claire. If I've not managed to and discipline just, myself, it into... just turns into a novelty, then, doesn't it? So it's a novel thing at the time, but then do you just like wash it away after you've had a Claire? No, Claire just makes <laughs> conversation. Claire, I think Claire just, Claire. like I said, I think for for me, Claire Claire helped to ground me. Because I know how to do this stuff myself, but the, the, the shiny thing is... But you gave me permission to do that, didn't you? I did, I said, so I, I need this help from We had a conversation last year, and Claire would ring me and she'd say, oh, I'm signing up for this, and then next day to be, oh, I'm going to go on this, and then next day to be something else. And I'm sat thinking, do you really need to do that? Is that really going to bring you any benefits? But I didn't say anything to her. Yeah. And then I can't remember how the conversation happened, but you said to me, I don't want you to be my accountability partner. Mm -hmm. 
but I need you to tell me if you see me running off in a direction you think is not right mm -hmm. I need you to make me think about it yeah and, and that's what I try to do and you do yeah. that very well yeah that's what so I try completely to do. random question do you think your business would be in a different position if you didn't have magpie syndrome do you think personally you might be in a different position? Yeah, I think that's a bit of a sensible so, question. I think Sorry, actually, uh, yeah. I don't speak very often, but well, but yeah. when I do, <laughs> yeah. yes. I think for me, I think it's maybe relative to what I do do for a job because my job is very creative, creative. and very ideas led. Yeah. And I think personality wise, I'm an ideas person. I, for any problem, I'll think of an idea for it sometimes I need to stop wading in and let the person or mm -hmm. problem sort itself out. So that's where the, oh, an idea, we could do this. I need to slow down, but I don't think I'm ever gonna lose it because it's just part of me. I just need to be aware not to let the magpie syndrome cause me problems and difficulties or make life harder. So do you think you've always had it? Because yeah. thinking you've got that creative mindset, so has that, element helped guide you towards the job that you do because looking at your job and our job in writing so yours is kind of more structured and defined whereas when i'm content writing it is almost more creative as well my other arm with my other business I, things come at me like that don't they so it is almost a case of like claire's just said it works well in your business it works well in my business in that sense. I don't Does that make sense? I mean, yes, the way, the way but your writing is structured. It is structured. It's, I come up with very different things in different ways. Than... But I th it's a difficult one because what I'm doing is telling somebody else's story. Mm -hmm. What you're doing is creating a story. Yeah. Now, I've always yeah. known since I can always remember, I've always wanted to be a writer. But I don't have that creative imagination to create fiction. I, that's not where I'm at. I can't do role plays. Mm. I couldn't be put on stage for a million pounds. I would be shocking because I can only be me. me. Yeah. But I can tell somebody else's story in a creative and way that makes them stand out from the crowd and the noise mm -hmm. so i'm not creative in the same way as you two because i'm not this sort of fiction idea type of person if you know what i mean i can't make ideas up they would have to come from something i'd seen i'd heard i right. felt there'd be a, a variation mm -hmm. but i have to have experience something similar to come up with the idea if you, you get on you'd meaning. be a good country and western singer you right in country well, and western we're, songs we're, leave, we're leaving down to you because <laughs> you have to put feeling into everything and you can only put feeling into it if you've been there and done it i can honestly say i think i've probably only ever heard about three or four country and western songs never where yes. that came from i don't know see mm -hmm. Um, it's your inner dolly and we all know about that <laughs> if you don't know about that you want to check joe's facebook group out for your own business it's um yes interesting to say the most anyway yes so, back so to, i think back i to think Magpie. mine is a different creativity mm -hmm. yeah you are definitely creative but it is definitely different mm. i think a lot of people say that though a lot of people say that they're not creative and I just think they, they don't see themselves as creative because you can be creative in lots of different ways. Yeah, yeah. Like you guys do with, with words, yeah. but as Claire's just said, slightly different ways. I mean, I always use the analogy that Claire does words, I do pictures. Yeah. But mine's are very visual, but equally it'd be like a DIY project or something. Anything to do with and I'm just an ideas person, which... So I think the magpie syndrome helps, but it needs managing so that you don't always get distracted and never finish anything. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. that's not good either. No, it's, that's not not good. Um, but that would only affect you personally, wouldn't it? Because you'd never not you'd never let work get no, to the stage where you work, finish it or anything like that. But that's where the work is more difficult for me. Mm. Like 
I love what I do. Ideas is not a problem. Creativity is not a problem. It comes naturally. That's the excitement and the bit that's easy for me. The structure in getting that project from the idea through its processes and to completion is where I have to try. I don't have to try for ideas. Mm. But is that's it worse for your every... own projects than your clients' projects? Oh, God, absolutely. I'm such a perfectionist with my own stuff. So I... And so I started now to have the idea, sense check it with you. Thankfully, I've got it's not. What would I do? What would I do without Claire? That's <coughs> tough. Um, yeah, now I started to go, right, I need to do this. I know I'll work better under a deadline. I I last, last, I last week, I was at um, an event, a, a showcase event on the Thursday, the Saturday before, because I usually do bits of work on a Saturday, like yeah. admin sort of stuff. Um, I designed and sent to print my own fold out flyer and a pull up banner and it had to go that day to get it back delivered to me in time for Thursday's event mm -hmm. so I couldn't mess about with it and move that another meter here and change that colour there and put that client's work in as an example here and there I just did it Claire I know it's weekend sorry to bother you can you just have a look at that I've sent you which she said yeah no problem and it's done gone so I think when I've got a deadline, that's where the magpie is controlled. With my own things, you can set your own, like my website. Yeah. The business is a year old now. It's yeah. took me a year to get the website. Yeah. Why? Because it had to be good and it had to have the right things in it. But if you don't start it and you don't do it, it's never going to get done. But I think I think that's the case for lots of people. In fact, I remember speaking to somebody on Friday who we've both worked on their websites, a huge website. Mm -hmm. um, and I said to him, is it live? Because we, the web developer sent it to us two, three weeks ago and said, and I spotted something straight away, which was 100% my fault, nobody picked up on it, but I got something changed. And so that was, it must be three weeks ago. So I said on Friday to the, to the client, is your website live then? I'm not seeing it. Well, no, because I'm tweaking it a bit and I'm, I'm doing this now and get it launched. I think it does. Just get it launched. Version. And somebody else said to him that was, was stood with us chatting said, version one is better than version none, get it out there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I've seen a social media post this morning that said from, from him saying something like, something exciting is coming soon. That, so, that would be a graphic on it that I, did, I made at the weekend then. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> it's all about yeah. me, I got, me, me. I got a message on Saturday. <laughs> can, you help, can you help me out with a couple of graphics? I said, yeah, when do you need them? And as soon as you can, I went, well, actually, I'm working now. I'm doing my account, so giving me something shiny to do instead of my accounts. <laughs> yes, and that's where it turns around again, isn't it? So, so I did finish the accounts, thankfully. Good. So uh, Bev will be very happy. The accounts are up to date. Uh, and I did a couple of graphics for that client so that he could promote his exciting news that he's got this week. So, going back to the magpie thing, mm -hmm. you, you think you're boring. That's your perception. Yeah. You think you're boring because you don't go out there and grab, grab, grab. I'm, I'm, yeah, I, I don't know a better word. <laughs> and that sounds terrible because, you know, I, I'm sure people wouldn't look at me and think, Absolutely she's boring. Not. Can you but, see? Claire in boring. But I'm, I am very level. Yeah. I don't I don't do big swings and peaks and troughs and I'm not some psycho female or I I occasionally I occasionally Hello um I occasionally get a little bit short if I'm really tired or really stressed. Mm -hmm. I'm a little bit sort of to the point yeah. when I'm talking. Um, but, and I tend to know, so last week something happened on social media, which you two know about. Mm -hmm. um, and somebody put, put a comment which made me feel very, very uncomfortable. Um, and I, when I calmed down after ranting to my, my daughter and partner for a good hour, um, I thought I've had a re personally a really tough week. Mm -hmm. Um, and so I, I actually messaged the person that had upset me, for want of a better word, um, and said, um, I'm really sorry if I've been short, but I've had a really tough week personally. Yeah. Um, 
fuel rub. I'll just throw that in there so people understand a little bit. Um, and they came back and apologised to me mm -hmm. for making me feel uncomfortable and explained their position, etc., etc. Um, no, most people wouldn't have done that. Yeah. I don't think most people wouldn't have gone. Maybe it's me being oversensitive. Yeah, but I think it's, I, that's I, what, I just I don't, don't that do you that. Think, I don't think you're always definitely not a word ever since you. I think measured and considered because you do. Yeah. You do get excited. You do I, get the, I, the, the, yeah. the but you internalize a lot of that. I get frustrated too, don't I? Yeah, it works both <laughs> ways. I do ring you up and go. Ah! <laughs> I mean, yeah. almost by the time that you share your new sparkly things with us, you have taken that time to think it through. Do you know and that's probably a really good the point? Wouldn't even get to us, would it? Because, because my my other half, who I absolutely adore and love dearly, says it took me a lot of years to get used to it because he'll say, oh, "I think I want this car." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think, okay, he's gonna buy that car. Then two days later, it's, I'm thinking about this car. I'm like, okay, two days ago you said it's that car. And then within seconds or hours or minutes, it will change again. Mm. And I found that really, really difficult because I am somebody that if I vocalise something to people, that's my decision. Yeah, you're doing that's it. That's how I feel. Yeah. That's my reasoned argument, whatever it may be. Now, if somebody says to me, actually, Claire, you're wrong because, I'll go, hands up. Yeah. Absolutely. I wasn't aware of that. Not or not considered it from that point of view or whatever. But when I say something, I mean it. You do. And I yeah. found it really difficult <laughs> with Carl bless him. Because he literally flips, he, he just, it comes out of his mouth before his brain's even engaged. And so then he sees something else, it's magpie syndrome. It, it is, it is. It's magpie syndrome, the cars and yeah. troubles and things like that. So it depends on the subject, but I think for me it's kind of everything. It's it's the idea or the... He's got magpie syndrome. The, the idea or the opportunity or the meeting is the, is the people or... And, and this is going to turn it completely differently but i could almost say that about me and marriage because everyone else was doing it at the time that my ex-husband and i got together um and i liked the idea because it was something new and something different of actually being married and the whole excitement of the ceremony and the day and the dress and everything and you know what probably one of the worst decisions I ever made. But I think I learned a lot from that, that actually you look out there, and that's possibly why I'm kind of in between you two. You look out there and you think you want something. But in actual fact, when you get it, it's not what you expect it's gonna be. Mm. So did you want to be married? Or did you want to go through the process of being married? I wanted to be somebody's wife. I wanted to be married. I liked the, the idea of everything around it. It was all like, yes, 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 yes. And yet, when I got there, it wasn't what I wanted. It was an Amy Winehouse. No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the name I went to read out. <laughs> <laughs> I said that was a completely random comment, but do you know what? That's, That's a whole other pod chat, though. I think, I think yeah, that one could be a different episode. That, that, that goes into the whole thing of people love to be in love rather than actually yeah. finding love and waiting for the right person. Yeah. They settle. Yeah. Because that initial spark happens and then they're in this relationship and they think, I can't have to get out of it now, it'll do. Yeah. Hmm. That is another path chat. So it could also uh, yes. be one on decisions or decision making. Possibly, Rather, yeah. So if the magpie comes along, then yeah. you either go, right, yeah, you can sit there until I've got through these other things first and then we'll look at that. Or oh, the magpie Claire. takes over, yeah. Or we've had a Claire in, interlude. Yeah. Right, so <laughs> magpies yes. collect shiny things. They do. They don't need them. No. They've no use for them. They just collect. You've seen my wardrobe, have you? Shiny things. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, all those bloody sparkles. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a drag queen's closet. But anyway. <gasps> oh, <coughs> that's a whole Excuse different me. episode. <laughs> I am joking. I've never looked into her. She has seen my She's seen some of my shiny shoes. But... Um, however, they've put me off. Sorry. Right, so, mm -hmm. with you, say we're looking at courses and things like that, or... Um, self-development. Self-development, yeah. business development and things like that. Do you sign up for things and then never do anything with them? Or do you actually try and go through them? Or do you start and then not finish? Look at that face. It's a bit of everything, you know. I think you've just hit the nail on the head. I do both. What what I've what I've learnt in the last year is I think it's a good idea to sign up for something, and it is both personally and for the business. And think right, it's an online course. I can do it in my own time. It's going to take twelve weeks. Claire goes, Nah, I can do that in two. So we start doing it and then obviously work comes in or paid work comes in. We pay, we've got to pay the bills as well as work on the business. Yeah. Um, and we actually can come to the end of the year and we've only completed a third of that course. Didn't learn the lesson because I'm, I'm also doing another masterclass type course that was a 12 week course. That 12 weeks finished. a big expensive one. It's going to cost me 125 quid until August. A month? Yes. Okay. 12 weeks, yeah. So again, I think that one was a magpie one because the actual content of that course, I already know. Again, I tell other people how to do it. Oh, is it I would just I, No, I would just like to say she'd signed up for this before she told me. Oh, I would have been going, don't. Is it, is it fear of missing out? No, it wasn't a fear of missing out. It, it, I think on training and development things, I know I need to do it, and if I follow a structure and a guide, yeah. then it's not left just to my own devices. I kind of like the idea of it being do it in your own time, yeah. but I think my learning, fortunately it's taken quite a while for the penny to drop. I don't have a lot of time <laughs> to decide, oh, I'm going to put some time into that cup without putting it in my diary. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm doing it. Doing a course at the minute that's three and a half days. Go there, sit in sit in the workshop, do the yeah. work, yeah. take some homework home, and you have to do it before the next week's lesson. Yeah. Tomorrow, hopefully it'll go ahead still, is the third and final part. And I've already, I did the homework straight away after the last meeting. Mm -hmm. So if I do it straight away, I've done it. And it's actually not just learning, it's actually putting something into practice at the same time. Right, okay. That's what I need to do. So like you say, it depends so on what the content online. is. Rather than online, yeah. I go, I sit there, I mean, or if well, it was online, I'm actually doing the learning. Question, yeah, go on. Stop avoiding it. Go on. <laughs> You've gone deeply into your learning style. Okay, sorry. And not into my past syndrome about, do you stockpile these things and then never do anything with them? Yes, and they're usually <laughs> personal ones or personal development ones. Yeah. I found a notebook this morning in my kitchen because obviously I'm starting to box things up now. found a notebook in my kitchen that I'd signed up for an online course on mindfulness and um, what do you call it? NLP. And <laughs> it would help if I remembered that really, wouldn't it? Um, <laughs> and, and it's sitting there and I signed up for that three or four weeks ago. It wasn't a very expensive one, but I was adamant I was going to do it at the time. And you forgot. And I'm six pages of an A4 notebook because I have to write it all down. Um, and, and I've forgotten to go back to it, yeah. You see, and I signed up for a very expensive course um, last April, I think it was. And I, you got a module a week. Yeah, a module a week. And I didn't always, I hadn't always finished the module when the next one became available. It depended on the week and how much work I got. Mm -hmm. But I still go back to that because it was so essential to my business. Mm. And see, you considered that before you signed up for it. We yeah. just see it and think. Oh, but I did, but I didn't. It was it was a strange one because I saw a little promo video from the guy who'd, who'd written the course and something connected. Mm -hmm. Something when I need that course, that that's 
me now i need that course mm. and i messaged him and he said because he'd said in the video it's only a three-day registration period but he didn't say when it ended and it was an instagram video i'd seen and they don't really tell you when they come up yeah. so i messaged him not expecting to get a response and he messaged me straight back mm. so yeah I'm connected so magpie syndrome ladies you've got it i've definitely got you're it. you're a mini magpie yes and i'm an internal magpie yes but i don't actually act on it yes are oh, you a magpie if you're listening you're a magpie and on that note it's time for a room see you next time bye and see you guys next time bye, bye. we really are gonna have a brew because these are empty <laughs>